Hello everyone, John here, getting ready to work on my next project. This is the Aurora Prehistoric Scenes cro Man, and I, this is one of those that I had built as a kid. Now, cro if I'm not mistaken, is in, in, in France, I believe. So, um... They were European, um, but probably had darker skin than this. Uh, at least from what I've been reading up on uh, on Wikipedia. So this comes with, I believe, two sets of arms and two sets of legs. Now, the kit that I am building, I'll pull it out here. I got this off of eBay, and when you get stuff off of eBay... It's not always sealed in the box. Occasionally, but generally not. So with this guy here, as you can tell, some of it's already pre-painted. Like I've got a, a silver rock. Um, and apparently our, uh, our guy is blonde. <coughs> so... Uh, Fortunately, it did come with a base and did come with a nameplate. Very happy. I like it when kits come with nameplates. I like the nameplates. So, um, what I'm going to do, and I guess <laughs> here's the other side of our, our guy here. Uh, looks like they decided to give him some chest hair. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here, I've got to strip these parts. And so I'm going to identify those parts and I will be uh, stripping them with super clean. And then um, I will clean them off with Windex and water like I usually do and then get on to the assembly. So should be a fun build. Let's see what happens. Assembly is completed on our cro Man and all the seam filling and sanding and putting and all that's been done. <coughs> on the head where there was a seam right across the top, I filled that and then took an X-Acto knife and put the hair back in. We'll see how it works. And I did a little bit of that on the fur shorts here. So, um, now, I'll show this real quick. Uh, let's see, there we go. So, this base mates up with the cro Woman base. So, I'm going to be painting these, and they have some little bones and skulls and stuff. Um, or a skull. Um, so, I'm going to be painting these you know kind of the same color scheme i haven't completely decided yet but probably i'll go over it i'll prime it all with uh white and then uh white primer and then go over it with a uh black brown to get the into the recesses and then start uh, probably with a lighter brown uh, for the ground, for the earth. So, and of course I've got this little snake eating a lizard. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to paint that. Um, one of the things I do like about these kits is that in addition to coming with a base, they come with a nameplate. And I like doing the nameplates. I like having the nameplates, and I, I sometimes I feel like if I don't get a nameplate and a base, I feel kind of cheated. So, anyway, 
this guy is clean and ready to be primed so that's the next step priming is done on the cro Manion man um, reasonably okay with how the seams turned out I've got one that's kind of showing up but most of it's pretty good um, of course got the nameplate and the snake and the spear and the rock all done so I think for the base I'm going to start off with a black brown to have kind of a, a darker color in there when I go to dry brush and for the skin tone I'm going to go with a slightly darker flesh probably something close to what I did for Loana so we'll see how it turns out cro Manion Man is done. Um, pretty pleased with how he turned out. Now, I was originally going for the coloration like you'd see for Cheddar Man that has a much darker complexion. And in the middle of it, it started turning green. It's like... So, this is exactly the opposite of what I had intended. But here we are. And if you can see there, I've got the little snake eating the hapless lizard here that's seen better days. But uh, I'll show the base here. Anyway, uh, pretty pleased with how it turned out. I also, of course, did the nameplate. Let me get that for you. And it turned out pretty well. So overall... Pretty pleased. Um, this goes together. I'll show this to you. The what? Um, these two made up. This is Cromanian woman, and they made up like this. So the bases go together, and I'll be displaying them that way. So, again, our Cromanian man is done. So, uh, I think my next kit is going to be the. Uh, prehistoric scenes to Steracosaurus. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me.